Hello everyone, my name is Amy Moore and I work as an educator for the Potomac Valley Audubon Society. We are here at Cool Spring Preserve and with me today, I'm Allison Zach from the Clifton Institute. This is part two of our awesome virtual field trip exchange. So last week, Amy came to the Clifton Institute and we learned all about beavers. If you haven't seen that video yet, check either of our Facebook pages. And today I'm here at Cool Spring Preserve to learn about turtles. This here is Scoot the box turtle, and we're going to be interviewing Scoot today to learn more about the life of a box turtle. Hi Scoot, what kind of turtle are you? Oh, so Scoot is, he's telling me that he is a box turtle. Um, the reason that they're called box turtles is because they can go into their shell all the way and close it up tight just like a box. Scoot, do you ever go into your shell like a box? Well, Scoot is um, actually a turtle that was rescued. He was hit by a car oh, and his Scoot. shell got damaged. And um, he was able to get healed by rehabilitators, but um, he is not releasable because his shell never quite healed to the point where he would be able to go in his shell and protect himself. There's a missing part of his shell right here. And um, that, was, that happened when he actually got hit by a car. Hey, Scoot. How old are you? We can make a guess based on the growth rings on each of the scoots on his shell. So just like tree rings, this can be up to a certain age, um, a way that we can guess how old scoot is. So we're thinking, I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe scoot is about 10 years old and box turtles can actually live to be 50 years or more. So now we're going to let Scoot answer a few questions. Hey Scoot, which food do you like better? We've got some juicy strawberries or some wriggly mealworms. Yum yum, take your pick. Mealworms it is. So, box turtles are omnivores, which means they eat both plants and meat. His favorite food is definitely meat. We can feed him worms and um, roly polies and mealworms. And he'll also eat fruits and veggies. Just like you, you probably enjoy fruit more than vegetables, and that's true with Scoot. His vegetables are the last thing he eats. But let's see if he'll go for the strawberries. Hey, Scoot. Do you have teeth? Scoot does not have teeth. You can see in his mouth, all he's got is this cute little sticky pink tongue. So he has a beak, which is the sharp part of his mouth that kind of acts like teeth. It helps bite into things. And then his tongue is sticky and it helps the food that he's trying to eat stick to his tongue so he can bring it into his mouth. Hey Scoot, with strawberry on your mouth? Do you want to take a bath? Guess not. <laughs> Scoot is a land turtle or a terrapin, but he does need water just like every living thing. He drinks water and he also takes baths. This is his bathtub. Which he doesn't want to take a bath right now. Scoot, I'm wondering what people who are watching this video can do to help turtles if they see one in the wild or maybe even in the road. Well, the best place for wild animals and turtles is to stay in the wild. So even though turtles might look really cute and you might think this would be a really great pet, they're happiest where they are found, where they live. So what you can do is if you ever see a turtle crossing the road, you can help it by getting it off the road. Um, ask a parent to pull over at a safe place. Make sure you look for traffic. And important, it's important to look at which, which way the turtle's facing. So if this is the road here and Scoot is going across like this. If you move him to this side, that doesn't make any sense because he's just gonna have to cross again, right? So I would move him to this side of the road. Scoot knows where he's going, it sounds like. Mm-hmm. And another important thing is turtles have a homing instinct and it's kind of like they have this internal compass. So if you take a turtle and you move it a mile or so away, 
it will always try to go back to where you found it. And so that can be really dangerous. If you move turtles, you know, over roads or highways, then they're going to try to cross that. So if you find a turtle, it's best to keep it very close to where it was found if you have to move it. Box turtles like Scoot are found at both the Clifton Institute and at Cool Spring Preserve managed by the Potomac Valley Audubon Society. So if you'd like to help us protect the habitat of these animals, um, you can support either of our organizations. You're going to see a link in just a minute. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching.